everyone, I'm Jo. And I'm Leslie, happy holidays. Happy We're... holidays, yeah. Now I know you guys are gonna be at home eating all those mince pies, tucking into that nut roast, but we're here to help. We're here to get you active. We're gonna get you sweaty for the holidays so you don't feel any guilt and you're ready for 2021. Feeling trim, feeling ready, feeling ready for gigs because they are gonna come back. Yeah, and we need to be fit enough to get in the mosh pit. Let's be frank, that needs to happen because we haven't done that this year and a lot of heart rate goes up for that, you know? That is fitness in itself. You wanna be able to just crowd surf and feel... Absolutely. Cool, feel so, so Leslie, <laughs> so that we can get on with this session. Um, well, how long is it and what can people expect? Well, it's 35 minutes, guys. Um, what you're gonna need is no equipment. If you don't have any equipment, you can get a tin of beans or something relatively heavy from around the house um, for any of our like starter moves. If you're lucky to have some kettlebells or some dumbbells, bring them along and we'll show you what to do. You just need to have a bit of space around you. You can get yourself a mat or the floor will do and that's all you need. Don't forget to get water, water. as well. Make sure you hydrate. Very important. Right. Apparently, Sparkling water may not be a good option. However, that is all I have today. So we'll see how that goes. And of course, um, any pain, stop the activity. And anytime you feel physically or mentally overwhelmed, just take a breather. It's totally cool. This is your practice. But remember, it's gonna burn a bit. We're gonna get the sweat on. So if you're feeling up for that, let's move on. Let's go. Cool. So jo has got her weights. I've got my kettlebells. Our first move is gonna be a high plank leg up and tw and twist and alternate legs and twist that's going to be the first move and we've got five seconds until we start okay three two one let's go and twist and twist it's a great one to get the body all stretched out oh, stretching out the back stretching out the legs Halfway through, keep it going. Take it at your own speed, your own pace, whatever you need to do it, or feel free to speed it up. Whatever feels comfortable to you. And rest. Okay, so the next move is going to be a squat and knee to elbow. Squat and knee to elbow. Now get the heart rate moving a bit more. How you feeling, Joe? <laughs> got another 30 moves to go, don't worry. And remember, <laughs> enjoy your breaks, that's what they're there for. Okay. In five seconds, three, two, one, and go. Squat, knee to elbow, squat, Doing this for 35 seconds and 35 seconds rest. Halfway through. The great thing about high intensity workouts. It's a great thing. Yeah. You just power through and then you're done. You don't have to spend hours training and you will burn as much as you would have for an hour's run, perhaps even more. And it's great because it ele elevates your heart rate and then you get 35 seconds of rest like we do right now. Cool. Whew. Really gets the blood going. So the next thing that we've got is a curl and press. Joe will be doing the starter version with just one arm. What you wanna do is lift your weight to about chest height and then up. And I'm gonna, uh, you're gonna, Joe's going to be demonstrating it with two weights and I'm going to be doing a single with a kettlebell for anybody with one weight. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to alternate hands when we get halfway through. One more. And swap hands, keep it going. You want to be sure to keep the weight kind of close to your body like you're zipping up a jacket. Oh, and three, two, one, finish that rep. 
So got a bit of shoulder work in there, a bit of arm workout. What next is we've got push-ups, everybody's favorite. The starter position Joe will demonstrate. What we can do is drop to our knees to do a push-up. Everybody else, keep them knees up. Now I can only do a couple <laughs> without using my knees, but just push yourself, do whatever you can. And the next time you do this workout, you might be able to find that you can just do a bit more. So yeah, just try and push yourself every single time you do this workout. Or not, up to you. So you're gonna push up, elbows close to your body, and push up. Oh, I think I've done four. Can I do more? Halfway through. Oh, I'm gonna have to drop to my knees. The great thing is if you're down your knees, you can push out some more. You're killing me. Think about all the pudding you can eat, Joe. Ugh. And we're now time to rest. Okay, after this, we've got bicycle crunches. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move onto our backs. We are going to extend our legs out and do a bicycle crunch. Try and keep those legs low and out. None of that. Let's make it challenging and knee to elbow, okay? You got 10 seconds. See, see, are you finding it hard to breathe already? Uh, no, we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> and let's go. Whether you choose to push yourself or not, you will still be burning those calories, still be working out that body, getting fitter, leaner, meaner, every time you do this. Keep it going halfway through. Feeling it there in the obliques, yeah? Yes. <laughs> Say hello. Say hello to your little friends. <laughs> and three, two, one, and rest. Okay. Next up, we have deadlifts. Joe is going to demonstrate the starter position with two weights. You can also do it with no weights. And what you want to do is hinge from the waist and let your weights go down. I'm gonna use a heavier weight. You can draw your knee, you wanna keep your core tight, nice and tight, soft knees, and just lift your weight up and down. And that's a deadlift. I'm gonna demonstrate single leg, so it's opposite leg to the weight that's holding, the arm that's holding the weight. And I'll alternate for you guys. So I'm doing my left leg first. So if you want to be try something advanced, you can do single leg and swap. Or you can just do what Joe's doing, which is the starter position with weights or without weights. Doesn't feel like a massive exercise, but you feel it in a couple of days and rest. You know, when you're, when you're sitting down on the chair and the legs start to wobble. That's what that, that will get you. So next we have, if I can read, <laughs> bicep curls. Yay. Okay, cool. So I'll be demonstrating it with one weight. Joe will be doing it with two. So I'll alternate arms as well. And what you want to do is just curl up, make sure you squeeze at the top and lift down. Squeezing the bicep at the top and just, that's it, let's go. So if you fancy unwinding after this one, be sure to try out Joe's yoga workout. It's gonna be good. Swap arms if you're doing single arms. So five seconds and time for a rest. Nice one guys. Don't forget to hydrate, to drink some water if you need to. Uh, next up, we will have lateral bear crawls. So a bear crawl is basically your hands underneath your shoulders, standing, standing like a bear, and knees off the ground. So you're like a bit of a square box. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from right to left. Okay. 
Well, do it step by step if you need to. And let's go. You're working all your back muscles here. If you've got your knees up, try and keep them up. Keep it pushing halfway through. You guys got this, this is a tough one. I believe in you. <laughs> you can do this. And rest. Rawr. So up next we have our squint and see it. Squint and see it, wow. Oh, picking up change. Yes. So it's time, to, it's time to practice for the mosh pit. And what we're going to do is shuffle side to side, picking up change. To express yourself however you want to do it. Do it however you would do it in the mosh pit. This one is a bit of a freestyle, so we're gonna get ready to go in five seconds. Heart rate is up, let's go. <laughs> Pick up that change. It's a 5P over there. <laughs> Halfway through. If, feel free to pick up the speed if you can. Make it a bit more challenging. Shuffle side to side to side. Side to side. Side to side to side. If you feel like spin kicking, go ahead, spin kick. Make sure nobody's around you and rest. Okay, feel free to take a break. If you need to stop at any time and have a longer break, go ahead, just hit pause and come back to us or stay with us if you fancy a challenge. Woo. Next up is we've got mountain climbers. So in the plank position, what we're gonna do is just lift our knees up to our chest. And we're gonna do that for 35 seconds. Woo! <laughs> our blood's pumping. Let's go mountain climbers. Keep it going. See if you can keep up the level of intensity that you start at all the way for 35 seconds. Keep it going halfway through. Keep up that speed. Kind of kills on the shoulders, doesn't it? Yeah. Keep that core engaged, keep that back flat. And rest in. Now. Woo. Yowzers. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna move down onto the floor and we're gonna we've got ankle touches. So Lying on your back, head raised a bit. We're gonna try and touch our ankles, moving from side to side. Now remember those stomach muscles that you felt earlier? You're gonna feel them a lot more now. <laughs> We've got our blood throwing through our body. We're feeling a bit tired. So all this muscle work that we're gonna do is really testing your body instead of doing it cold. If you find this a bit too easy, feel try and touch the top of your feet go in the extra extra mile or feel free just to touch your ankles if that's fine enough for you if you need to rest rest if not try and keep that core tight time under tension we'll be working out those abs should be feeling it now feeling it time to rest Woo! tap out your stomach Tap that out. Ooh. Now, ooh, we've got side squat or, or lateral squats. So you can do this without weights, which Joe is gonna demonstrate. And I will be doing this weighted. And what you're just gonna do is step from neutral out and squat back into neutral and step to the other side, right? Ready to go in five. And step. You don't have to do this with weights, but if you do this with weights, it's just that time under tension again, just pushing your body and elevating your heart rate. Halfway through. Whew. Go 
gosh, my legs are burning already. Oh, and my right side is definitely stronger than my left. You can kind of feel it sometimes when you do things like this. Right. Next we have freestyle hardcore dancing. Now, if you don't know what to do, you can just stick to running punches. But the aim of the game here is just to be moving around for, for 35 seconds. Do what you like. Dance to the tune that's playing right now. Whatever you fancy. We're going to start going in three, two, one. That was just the warm up. So you can do running and punching if you fancy, or we can do a two step. <laughs> Good old two step. You can pick up change again if you want. <laughs> this is your mosh pit. Feel free to do what you want. <laughs> I've never seen two stepping in a workout video. Link me if you've got found one hand. Rest. Do up your shoelace if you also need to. <laughs> Woo! And next we're gonna take it back to the ground and we're gonna do a frog sit up. Don't forget to hydrate on still water, sparkling water, whatever you prefer. Beer. <laughs> tis the season. Oh, tis the season. Okay, 10 seconds. We're gonna do frog sit up, which is just basically a sit up, but with your feet together like this. It takes out all the work from your legs and makes your stomach work. Let's go. Uh, do our frog sit-ups. All of that load is straight on your abs instead of your legs because sometimes they want to do the work helping you to pull up. Those legs they like to help you out wherever you can. Cheeky little legs. If you can, keep up the same intensity. If not, let's see if you can go faster. Oh, we've run out of time. <laughs> and rest. Okay. This is good. This exercise meet, marks a halfway point. Burpees. So, Joe's going to demonstrate the starter position, which is just jumping out, hands to floor in a plank position, and jumping back. I'm gonna do chest to floor. And I'll also, if you, if you find chest to floor even easy, we can do a prison burpee, which just means your arms go out like this. Okay, let's do it. I'm gonna start with prison burpees. Joe's doing just a plank to start out. Plank position, burpees. Halfway through, guys. You guys are killing it. You. One must kill oneself to progress. That's it, 35 seconds of burpees, well done. Halfway through, guys. Woo, hydrate, make sure you get some water. Next up, we have our bear crawls. Instead of lateral, we're gonna go forward and back. Ooh. Take that. Yeah, Joe's gonna demonstrate putting knees on the ground, just as a easier. Feel free to stop if you're finding any pinching pains, but if it's burning, keep on going. It means you're doing it right. Three, two, one, let's go. Keep those shoulders instead of knees directly under your body. Oh, it's hard going backwards. Halfway through. If you are putting your knees on the ground, also be careful if you have knee problems, not to put too much weight onto your knees. Oh. Ooh, feel the burn and rest. Okay, next up we have sumo squats, which is just a squat, but we're gonna do it with our legs far apart. 
Joe's gonna do it that wet. I'm gonna do it weighted. Don't forget to take a drink. This is challenging. Good. <laughs> Feeling the sweat, that's good. Feeling the burn, that's even better. Let's go. Want to control that way down, and maybe even stop halfway through. Control on the way down. Don't forget to keep that core stabilized and strong. You can do it, guys. A couple more seconds left. And let's do one more rep. One more rep. Well done. Right, from our sumo squats, we are going to <laughs> do single leg V-ups. And Joe's gonna demonstrate crunches as the starter position. So, we're just gonna do single-sided crunches as the starter position. Just touch your knee, touch your knee, lifting up your body. And for the advance, we're gonna do single legged V-ups. And go. If you're keeping your core nice and tight, you'll feel it. If you're feeling it in your neck, try and loosen up that head. It should be your core that's kind of pulling you up to do this exercise. Oh, I'm knackered. I can barely do it myself. Oh, I've got stiff legs. But do what you can, guys. Oh. And rest. Uh, do we have floor work again? Please let us have floor work again. Oh, yes, we've got plank touches, which Joe will demonstrate. Is Joe is going to touch, hold the plank and touch right in front of her. And she's gonna try and keep her, her core nice and tight. If you've got a weight or a dumbbell, what you can do is you can pass that weight underneath you from side to side. I'll demonstrate it this way on so you guys can see. And let's go. Both of these are using the same muscles. Halfway through, guys. And the slower that you can do these moves, the more your core will be working. Just from side to side. Keep that core nice and tight. One more. Well done. Keep it going, guys. Keep it going. Don't forget to hydrate. Enjoy that little rest that you're going to get right now. Oh. So, <laughs> it's getting a bit warm in here. So the next uh, move is our overhead tricep extension. Joe will be demonstrating it with two weights, but basically we're gonna be getting our weights, keeping our elbows kind of close to our head and moving the weight up and down. So you really feel it in the tricep area. Don't forget to breathe in and out when you're exercising. Halfway through. You feeling that, Joe? Yeah. Ooh. A lot of people don't. Which is why we're showing it some love right now. Ooh, a little bit of pain right now, but your body is going to feel so much better for this. You're going to feel fantastic after you're done. You're gonna have all the endorphins running through you. I promise you'll feel good. Let, let me know how you feel in the comments after you've done this. Let me know if you found it challenging or if you want us to do another one. Right, next up we have leg lifts. <laughs> Sorry, I'm finding it really hard to see the screen here. But yes, we've got basically leg lifts back onto the ground and we're just gonna lift our legs up 
and down, but don't let your feet touch the ground. Your back must remain flat on the ground. Core nice and tight. Ooh. Now, if you're feeling pretty brave, let your legs just drift down there very slowly at the bottom. Stay there for a second and back up. Drift down slowly, hold, back up. Drift slowly, hold, and back up. And time to rest. Woo. Okay. So your heart rate might decrease a little bit. We're going to pick it up a bit more. We've got another freestyle move, pogoing. I just want you to jump up and down like a nut nut. So we're just going to jump up and down, get the blood flowing again. Yeah? yeah, yeah feeling stop. good? Woo. Might be feeling sweaty. Might be feeling tired. But that's what we want out of the exercise. Hey, we're more than 75% done, so it's all good. Let's go. Come on, high energy, high energy. When do you have the chance to jump around in your living room, annoying the neighbors to a song? <laughs> Halfway through, get your arms moving. <laughs> have fun. This should be fun. Not a boring workout at all. Five seconds left. Keep it going. Woo. Ah, oh, get to shake it out. Okay, next up we've got kick throughs. So Joe will be demonstrating um, actually side planks. So she will be sort of rotating in a plank position side to side. The advanced move is just to kick your leg out. Stand in a plank and kick your leg out. I'll also demonstrate it from here. Okay, going in three seconds. Two, one. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one to test the, the old balance out. Halfway through. Using your core as well as your shoulders and rotating those shoulders, probably doing moves that you don't do in your, your average day. There we go. And rest. Don't forget to drink water if you need to. Woo. Next up, we've got our squat jumps. So we're just basically gonna go into a squat and jump up. Woo. I'm gonna take this break and eat it. <laughs> Absolutely. But it's great, I'm liking it, it's an extra challenge. All right, let's keep the energy going on these. And, and squat and jump. Don't have to do gigantic jumps if you want. You can do what Joe's doing, I'm taking it easy. I've got stiff legs today, but coming down, into that jump with soft knees. Whatever feels comfortable for you. Ooh, keep up that intensity. Got 10 seconds to go. Loading those legs. Oh, feel the burn. Oh, yeah. And go. Oh, tough. Woo. Shake those legs out. Move that lactic acid around. Ooh. Okay, our next move is gonna be up down plank. Uh, so Joe's just gonna stand in a normal plank. You can choose to be in a high plank or a low plank or advanced is going up and down between the two. Oh. And let's go. Joe is showing us just a a low plank on the elbow is just keeping her core nice and tight. And I'm just going up and down. Both are very good. Is that challenging, Joe? Oh, yeah. God, that's what I want to hear. 
times. And I've got six seconds left. Come on, this is hard. And rest. Woo! Oh boy. Whoa. Okay. Oh. We're gonna do reverse lunges next. So, Joe's gonna be demonstrating it without a weight. I'm gonna stand up and move one leg back into a lunge position. And then the other. Yeah, you can, you don't have to drop your knee all the way down. Try not to drop your knee down. I'm gonna do it weighted. Do whatever feels comfortable for you. If you're not used to these, do not drop your knee to the floor. Be best not to, just to avoid any injuries. If you are well versed in reverse lunges, <laughs> you can touch your knees to the floor. Halfway through, keep it going. Oh, that wasn't a good one. Yeah. A lot of control in that leg that holds at the front. That's the one doing all the work. Ooh. And rest. Wow, okay. Next up, people, we have our thrusters. And Joe is just gonna be doing, touching the ground and reaching up. If you've got a heavier weight, this will be a bit more challenging. We're just gonna touch the floor. It's 12 kilograms. So we're just gonna lift it up and put it down, lift it up and put it down. And up. And if you've got dumbbells, you'll find this a bit easier. And if you are wondering what's happened due to some post-production magic, we have spliced <laughs> us in. <laughs> the microphone stopped working, but we are still working. Look at this, people. Four seconds left of thrusters and finish the wrap. Oh, oh, right. Next up, we have squat and hold. It's going to be killer. We're just going to drop down into a squat and hold that lovely position. It's going to burn the legs. It's going to burn the butt, but it's going to be great. <laughs> Oh, okay, people, we can do this five seconds. <sighs> Take that good breath of fresh air in and squat and hold it and see how long you can hold this for. It's only 35 seconds, not asking for a lot, just a little, just a little bit of your time. And we're halfway through, just about halfway through, halfway through now, starting to hurt. Wait on those ankles and heels that's what they're called if you want to pulse with me you can pulse for the last 10 seconds five four three two and up oh la la didn't that burn shake those legs off so from a squat hold we are just going to run on the spot get the heart elevated high knees do it however you want to this <laughs> You can decide to run elegantly, or you can just, yes, or you can, you can decide to do a Usain Bolt, but what we want to do is get those knees up and get the heart rate up. Come on, there's only two exercises after this. Let's go. Keep the intensity up. Keep it running. Keep it running. And halfway through, do you think you can go faster? Uh, yes, you can. Come on, let's go. Let's go, feet up. 10 seconds left. Yes, we can do it. Build a burn. Come on, you can do it. And break. Oh, brother. Don't leave me hanging. <laughs> okay, you're gonna love this last exercise, people. We're gonna go back into burpees. Yes, I'm gonna kill you. 
Joe's gonna demonstrate the starter position, which is burpee, two hands, back up. I want you to do four high knees, okay? Everybody else, advance, chest to floor. Up to you what you wanna do. We're going in three seconds, last move. Let's do it. Let's go all the way out. And four high knees, two, three, four. Two, three, four, and burpee. One, two, three, four. Keep the pace going. All right. You're gonna feel great after this, people. You can do this. Last exercise, max effort, come on. Last one. Hey, thank you, Joe. Thank you everybody at home for doing this. Make sure you drink your water. Make sure you do a cool down after this. Let me know how you felt about this. I hope you had a great time. Happy holidays. Enjoy those treats, people. Please look out for one another. Much love. Peace.